I call Disneyland and cruise ships fake fun. This, this is real. You come to a dude ranch, you live the adventure. You're on a, a live animal that has his own brain to control that animal, uh, to see wildlife. You don't know what's gonna happen from day to day. It's not regulated by uh, stop and go like the rides at Disneyland. Oh, the golden age. People traveling from the east, reading of the romance of the west, they wanted to come out and capture what the wild west was. Some of the cattle ranches, they took on guests and they would go out and help brand and do ranch work. People would come out for a couple of weeks, people would come out for a month. The dude ranchers have a, a tough road ahead of them to educate, I think, the younger audience. Today, there's no westerns, there's no movies, there's no romance, there's no western heroes. We've got to go to the youth of America in cities and have them fall in love with horseback riding, have them fall in love with what Wyoming has to offer. I'm Connor Cordell. I'm be a sophomore in high school this year. Just love to come out here. Most horses, the first time we climb on them in the spring, they buck a little. It's fair game. Uh, they haven't had anybody on them in eight months. It's just in them. And then after the third or fourth time, that's when you know that he's not a guest horse anymore. He's a project horse. sit there in the city and watch cars go by every day, answer a phone every day. Uh, you just gotta get out, you gotta get away from it. Eventually, you'll have to get away from it. They come out here and they climb up these mountains and they can see for miles. They can see for miles. And from, other, from where they are is all they see is buildings. Buildings and buildings and buildings. On the license plate, it says we're the cowboy state. 